Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Today we are looking at vector equations and how we can change them into different kinds of equations. For instance, parametric or Cartesian equation. So we're already familiar with when we have a vector equation. For instance, when we have a point 1, 5 and the direction of 3, 2, we can say that x, y is equal to 1, 5 plus t times 3, 2. Just watch out. Sometimes IB uh, asks you questions uh, and they talk about line one and line two. If you write down line one is equal to this, you will lose a mark. So just be wary of that. So this is XY or R is equal to. So XY is equal to one five plus T times three two. Well, that's your vector equation. So that's A. Now we're gonna change it into a parametric equation. And what that means is just separating the X's and the Y's. So for B, the parametric equation is x is equal to 1 plus 3t, and y is equal to 5 plus 2t. Next, we got the Cartesian equation. Well, the Cartesian equation occurs when you take this equation and this equation, and you transform it into t equals blah, 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 and then make the two t's equal to each other. So for your x equals 1 plus 3t, you could change this to x minus 1 divided by 3 is equal to t. And for your y's, you can have y minus 5 divided by 2 is equal to t. Well, both of them are t, so t equals t, so x minus 1 divided by 3 is equal to y minus 5 divided by 2. Now we can change it into uh, different kinds of fo uh, forms. Um, I guess I can put it into the um, standard form. Um, so I'm going to multiply everything by 6. Or maybe I'll just cross multiply it. So I'll cross multiply it. So 2x minus 2 is equal to 3y minus 15. And then I get 2x minus 3y is equal to minus 13. And now we've got it in Cartesian form. And this is your Cartesian equation. You could also point in it, uh, change it into y equals mx plus b. Um, so for instance, if we kept on going with this one, we can change this to negative 3y equals negative 2x uh, minus 13. And then y is equal to negative 2x divided by negative 3 minus 13 divided by negative 3. So y is equal to 2x over 3 plus 13 over 3. And something you will notice, this is 2 over 3, which is kind of the opposite of this, which is 3 over 2, which makes sense because if you're doing 3, 2, your direction is 3, 2, well, your slope is rise over run. So you're rising, you're rising by 2, and you're running by 3. So anytime it asks for um, what is the slope, you could look at the direction and just flip it, and that would be your slope. Hope that helps. Have a good day.